Sat Nam and welcome to Kundalini Yoga as taught by Yogi Bhajan. I'm Ann Taylor for those of you who do not know me. And let's begin by feeling our sitting bones connecting firmly with the mat, with Mother Earth. And allowing your eyes to close. And begin long, deep breathing. Remembering to open up the belly as you inhale. Bring the breath up through the heart center. And all the way up to the collarbones. On the exhale, reverse the process. Allowing any thoughts of the day or from the night to just sit on the side as you focus yourself on yourself. You're giving yourself this beautiful gift of kundalini yoga and meditation. And as you're settling in, allow an intention to come forward for today's class. Allow it to come up naturally. And sometimes we're surprised what shows up. Beautiful. Now rubbing the palms of the hands together, placing them at the heart center. Thumbs pressed against the sternum. As we prepare to tune in by chanting Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo, Ong is a vibrational sound, and you'll feel your head vibrating that frequency of Ong, the creative force of the universe which we are calling upon. Guru, going from darkness to light, the teacher within. And I also give thanks for the lineage, the golden chain that brought these teachings forward. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Deep inhale. Exhale. And inhale to tune in. Om. Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Exhale, relaxing the hands down. And we will begin with the meditation. Um, a beautiful two-stroke breath to connect with the subconscious mind and to open up our intuition. And by doing this, we'll be working with the pituitary gland. 
So pituitary is the master gland and it sends signals to the whole hormonal body. So as we are entering into these trying times, and I guess I've been in them for a while, with the information overload and stress going on in the world, um, Yogi Bhajan taught that it's very key to learn how to use our intuition to make decisions quickly so that we can bypass the rational mind at times because there's too much to sort through. And by developing our intuition, we will just instinctively know the, re the best course of action at any point of time. And so this pranayam or breath practice has several components none of which are difficult. And the mudra or hand position is gyan mudra, which simply means to touch the thumb and index finger. The elbows will be next to the body. And so if you were looking at me sideways, it would be like looking down one plane. So the arms are back and in line with your body this way. The focus of the eyes is on the tip of the nose. And that may feel awkward. Uh, what we're doing is slightly putting some tension on the optic nerve. And for some people, it may be difficult. So you don't want your eyes to cross or um, go into pain. So one thing I do to teach people how to do this, you could just take your index finger and bring it towards the tip of your nose. And at some point, you'll find a spot. And if you can't really see the tip of your nose, then just pick a spot on the floor. So that's how that works. And the um, neck is in a gentle neck lock, jalanda bond, which simply means slightly tilt the chin in. Okay, so those are the components. Now the breath is a two-stroke inhale with a rounded mouth. So that simply means make an O formation with your mouth, and you're going to tense your lips somewhat. So you're kind of puckering your mouth open. And what this does is it stimulates the vagus nerve. It's very effective breath for that. So as we've been learning about the parasympathetic nervous system, we know that this helps stimulate and heal that. Um, so it's two strokes in through the mouth, powerful strokes, and then one stroke out through the nose. So that's the breath pattern. We'll be doing this for 11 minutes. And so allow yourself to go deeply into it. And just periodically, I'll mention some of the components just so that you know that you're still connected. And so again, hands are in Gyan Mudra. Elbows are toward, you're not locking them in, but just resting gently against your body. Feeling women have an arc line across here as well as across here where the area of the nipples are. So just feel that energy circulating between your hands. And the eyes are focused at the tip of the nose. And let's begin. Inhale, two strokes. Exhale through the nose. As you're finding your balance, make sure you're inhaling your full lung capacity so you're drawing in a lot of breath on those two strokes. And then in exhaling completely. So it's fine to start this real slow. There's no rush.
Beautiful, very nice. Eyes are focused at the tip of the nose or a place on the floor, gently stretching the optic nerve. If the mind wanders, and it will, no problem. Just notice and come back to the breath. Just notice that with practice, the interruption of thoughts becomes more and more distant. On the inhale, feel your diaphragm pressing down as the two-stroke breath comes in. Many details to consider. Don't worry, it takes practice, it's being recorded, and you can practice it again. Halfway point, excellent, keep going. In 11 minutes, we begin to really affect the glandular system. It's worth it. 
as we continuing two strokes in through a rounded mouth. One stroke, slow exhale through the nose. Eyes are focused at the tip of the nose, nine tenths closed. Checking your spine is nice and straight, and your arms are still in the original position. Make small adjustments as needed. The Trinity breath, two strokes in, one stroke out, Trinity breath. If the mind wanders, simply call it back to the breath.
Inhale deeply as you bring your palms together in prayer pose. Inhale deeply, suspend the breath. Exhale gently through the nose. Deep inhale through the nose, suspend the breath. Exhale. One more time. Deep inhale through the nose, suspend the breath. Exhale, allow the, uh, the hands to come down. Eyes remain closed. And just experience whatever sensations you may be feeling. Meditations, particularly as they go into eight, 11 minutes or longer, may give a slight altered state of consciousness as your electromagnetic fields are getting shifted. So again, that is, was the two-stroke breath to connect the subconscious and the intuition using Trinity breath. Beautiful. And today's Kriya is Kriya for Elevation. And this is a beginner's Kriya. And I will give some alternate positions where, where it may be indicated some people. So as always, you can do most of this uh, from a chair or sitting at the edge of a couch if sitting on the floor is not really going to work for you. We'll begin uh, with Ego Eradicator, and I think we'll bump it down to two minutes from three. And Ego Eradicator, the checkpoints are a nice straight spine. We'll be using the breath of fire. And if you're on your moon cycle or think you may be pregnant, then substitute long, deep breathing. And just to remember, just briefly, the breath of fire is a regular breath, equal inhale, equal exhale, where on the exhale, you're pulling the navel in and back towards the spine. And the inhale just comes naturally through this, is both done through the nose. So it goes like this. Keep the inhale and exhale equal duration. When doing pranayama, it's helpful to have a tissue handy. OK, the mudra is to take the fingers, bend your fingers, and place them on the tops. They call it the pad of the hand. The thumb is stretched away. The arms are at 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock. Shin is in a slight neck lock. And we begin a powerful breath of fire. The eyes are closed and focused up at the brow point. And let us begin. Check that the arms are nice and straight, the elbows are locked.
Beautiful. 30 more seconds. Keep going. Inhale deeply, suspend the breath, touch the thumbs over the head, spread the fingers out, squeeze the energy from the base of the spine up the central channel and up and out the crown. Exhale, let's repeat one more time. Deep inhale, apply root lock, contracting the muscle of the anus sphincter, the sex organ, pulling the navel in and up locking off that energy from leaking out and squeezing the energy up. Exhale and relax the hands down. And just allow your eyes to remain closed. So just as a quick review, root lock, you close the muscle of the anus sphincter, the sex organ as if stopping a flow of urine midstream, that's what that would feel like, and pulling the navel in and up. This is a body lock bund kind of sealing in the energy and it creates the, it causes the apana to come up the navel point. The apana is the eliminating force. It's the counterbalance to prana. Okay. And now grabbing hold of the ankles for spinal flex. Inhale as you gently rock forward on your hips, exhaling back. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. And I'll just do a side view in case you haven't seen this before. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. And continue finding a pace that works for you. Bring your awareness to your spine. Is it tight? If you're feeling really good and warmed up already, you can pick up the pace. This is about your relationship with your body, psyche, your 10 bodies. We'll be doing this for three minutes, so allow your awareness to collect at the brow point, opening up the heart on the inhale, So we're using the analogy of the 60 watt light bulb, and that would be kind of your energies all spread out going in different directions versus the laser where you're really, you're focused at that brow point, you're consolidating the energy. Perfectly fine if you have a little music on in the background, except for when we're tuning in. By holding on to the ankles, we're creating the exercise is really focusing on the lower spine, warming up that lower spine. Gently rocking. Beautiful, very nice. Although I can't see you, I'm holding the energy for all the participants. Okay, 15 seconds, finish nice and strong.
Inhale, center, suspend the breath. Exhale, relax and keeping your eyes closed. Just take very short breaks between the exercises, consolidating the energy. Notice any sensations you may be having. Okay, the next exercise we'll do for two minutes, spinal twist. This will be working on the mid spine and the heart center. Grabbing hold of the shoulders, thumbs go in the back, fingers go forward. We're going to begin to inhale as we twist left and exhale as we gently twist to the right. Mentally vibrate suck on the inhale, nam on the exhale. It's excellent if you can pick a Kriya and do it for 40 days. And you can certainly shorten up each of the exercises to just a minute, which means the whole thing would take about 15 minutes. We're doing more of a complete set. Inhaling Sat, exhaling Nam, Sat Nam, truth is my identity. I learn to vibrate with my truth, with my authentic voice, which may have been buried for years, if not decades. Many of us sense it's time to bring forth our authentic voice resonate with our own truth of who we are and what our purpose and mission is. That may be creating a beautiful garden, raising children or grandchildren, or bringing your gifts out to others in different ways. Inhale, center, suspend the breath. Exhale, relaxing the hands down. And again, allowing the eyes to remain closed. Sometimes I find that it, my gifts find me if I allow myself to be quiet. Teaching Kundalini Yoga was the furthest thing from my mind. I live kind of on a remote place and wanted to learn how to do it properly. Before you know it, I started teaching and feel very much called to share this ancient technology with people to help them during these challenging times. Okay, the next exercise, stretch your legs out in front of you for front life nerve stretch. And we'll be doing this for two minutes. So some of you may be more flexible than me. Um, if you're able to take your two fingers, wrap them around your big toes and trying to keep the, the back of the knees so your legs aren't buckling up. It's if you can't reach like that, that's fine. Keeping the legs pressed against the floor, just. So if you're able to go down here with the legs fine, that's fine. You're still, the idea is to get the stretch in the life nature, the life nerve. Um, and that includes the sciatica. So 
if you bend your legs, you're kind of missing the stretch. And so inhale down and exhale up. So my movements are micro movements, which is fine. If you're more flexible, you're coming all the way down. Again, allowing the yoga to meet you where you're at. Exhaling down, inhaling up. The thumb is pressed against the big toe nail. There's a meridian point that stimulates the pituitary gland. We've been talking about that, the master gland. So you can see Kundalini Yoga has a lot of science in it, not just woo-woo new, new age. It's okay if the back rounds a little bit on this exercise. Exhaling down, inhaling up, beautiful. You'll notice as you continue, you might be able to go down just a little bit further. It doesn't matter. Just enjoy the stretch in the back of the legs. The lower back feels, this should feel good. So if it doesn't, come back up a little bit. Inhale deeply. Exhale, come down to your maximum position. Hold the breath out. And relax, shaking out the legs if you like. And again, we'll just take a brief break between exercises. Okay, the next exercise is called Modified Maha Mudra. And I'll show a couple different uh, ways to do this. So if you're able to take your, one of your legs and take your heel and put it into your peritoneum, that is the, uh, the way the exercise is described. If that won't work for you, then you just bring the one leg up as high as you can. Maybe it's to your knee. Maybe it's to your inner groin like that. So just again, allowing the yoga to meet you where you're at. And in this exercise, the back should remain straight. We'll just be doing this for one minute on each side. Now, usually the eyes are closed, right, when we do exercises. In this case, the checkpoints are you want to have neck lock, and then you're going to be gazing over the big toe. So you're going to feel that pull again on your optic nerve. And we'll be doing a powerful breath of fire. So again, take your fingers into toe lock if you're able to. If not, come down to where you can. Chin and neck lock, gazing over the big toe, begin breath of fire.
Excellent, 30 seconds. Inhale deeply, suspend the breath, apply root lock. So you've got root lock and neck lock. Exhale, release the root lock. Suspend the breath out, apply root lock again, and now bring the diaphragm in and up on the exhaled breath. Excellent. Inhale and relax the position. So the body locks or bandhas, I've put a little bit more information on the website, metaheartcenter.com. Look all the way to the bottom to glossary. And I've written a little bit more about the locks. So the diaphragm lock is only done when all the air is out. So you might want to just try that. Now exhale, hold the breath out. And then pull the abdomen in and up. You may have seen pictures of yogis that have their stomach in, but you know, basically I, uh, uh, mine doesn't look very dramatic, but exhale breath and you're pulling the diaphragm up. So the, mo the modified mudra means we're doing the, the three great body locks. Okay, now we can change switch legs. So as we learn to, to work with these locks, we're actually helping to break down the blockages where energy gets stuck. So the root lock is called the knot of Brahma. And then at the diaphragm, now that's, that's that lock between the third chakra and the heart. So that's, that's, a, that's our transition between really our animal nature which we're, we are mammals, we're living on this earth. That's a wonderful thing. The heart center is the segue though to our spiritual realms. So there's quite a bridge between um, the third and the fourth chakra. And there's a, it's called the knot of Vishnu or Krishna, knot of Vishnu that needs to be untied over time, loosened. And then the knot of Shiva is the final one, the crown. Okay. Again, leg is straight, inhale, exhale down and begin a breath of fire. Eyes are open, gazing over the big toe, chin is in neck lock. If you're able to reach both hands to the toe, great, otherwise modify as needed. The heel, if you're able to, goes right into the peritoneum. That's the area between the anus and the sex organ. Inhale deeply, suspend the breath, apply root lock. Exhale, hold the breath out, apply all three locks. Excellent, very good. Okay, very nice. I think I will just take kind of a mini break. And now spreading your legs wide. 
for another variation of life nerve stretch. Inhaling center, exhaling to the left. Inhaling center, exhaling to the right. If you're real flexible, you can keep both hands in toe lock position. Keeping the legs again down, reaching down to where you're able to. Finding your rhythm, motion and breath become one. Inhaling center, exhaling down. And now inhale center and exhale center. Inhale up and exhale down. As you can see, my, uh, this is not my flexibility forte here. If you're able to bring your heart center down to the floor, by all means, do so. So the positions that are difficult, such as this one is difficult for me as far as flexibility this way, should be one that, that I practice more often because some there's probably some energy block. Inhale deeply. Exhale and relax and come on your stomach. Just allow all muscles to relax. Placing your head one direction, just breathe normally and relax your body. Okay, and now placing your hands on either side, underneath your shoulders, inhale up into Cobra. And breathe long and deep. So better not to put your elbows down. If you only can come up a tiny bit, that's fine. Feeling the pelvic area, pressing down into the mat so that the weight is distributed on your legs and your arms and your pelvis. Breathing long and deep, cobra. Okay, inhale and carefully come out of the pose. Coming back, finding your way back to easy pose. Okay, hands on the knees for shoulder shrugs. Inhaling up, exhaling down.
breaking up the calcium deposits, letting go of stress and tension. Inhale, keeping the shoulders up, suspend the breath. Exhale, relaxing the shoulders down. And now let's begin neck rolls. Inhaling as you rotate your head back. Starting off with small circles so you don't hurt your neck. and then expand from there. Always checking in with your body. And reverse direction. And inhaling center. Okay, the final exercise. Coming on to your knees if you're able to. If not, remain in easy pose or whatever pose you're in. And we're going to do two minutes of Satkriya. So the mudra, interlacing the fingers, Extending the index finger, crossing the thumbs, ladies, left thumb over right, gentlemen, right over left. The mantra is Sat Nam. On the Sat, pull your navel in. On the Nam, relax. And let us begin. Arms over the head. Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Sat Nam. Sat nam, 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 Nam, Sat, 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 Nam, Sat 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 nam 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 inhale deeply suspend the breath apply root lock and squeeze the energy up the spine
Exhale, relaxing the arms down and come lying on your back for deep relaxation. The arms are to the sides, palms are facing up. And if it's chilly where you're at, cover yourself. Allowing the feet to relax, the calf muscles, the knees, the thighs, relaxing your legs, relaxing the lower triangle, the area of your hips and navel, buttocks. Breathing deeply now into your heart center a couple times your heart focus, heart breathing. And now mentally vibrate Sat Nam right into the area of your throat, Sat Nam. And one deep inhale, exhaling now out the crown and envisioning white light surrounding your body in a protective glow. I will call you back shortly. You'll periodically hear the crystal bowl just to let you know you're connected.
Inhale deeply and begin to bring your awareness back into the room. Making small circles with your wrists and ankles. And when you're ready, stretch your arms out over your head, pointing your toes in the opposite direction, elongating your spine. And now arms out to the side for cat stretch, bringing one knee across the body and turning your head the opposite direction, allowing the shoulders to remain on the floor. and switching sides. And rubbing the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet briskly. Grabbing hold of the knees and rocking on the spine a couple times. And coming into easy pose for Kirtan Kriya. Now this is one of the meditations that Yogi Bhajan said that he would bring. If he could only bring select meditations, this would be one of them. It's very powerful. And the, uh, the mantra is Satanama. Now you, you probably are familiar with that by now. Satnam is truth is my identity. And we're breaking that up to the components. Sa, ha, na, ma. Sa is the infinite nature of the world, of the universe. So the mudra is going to be thumb to, in, to index finger as we chant sa. And then we move to the middle finger, ta, meaning life. Thumb to the ring finger, na, meaning death. And then to the pinky, ma meaning rebirth. So we're going through the cycles of being in the infinite space of the universe, birth, death, life, <laughs> infinite nature, birth, death, rebirth. So very beautiful. So you're just going to be touching your fingers. Hopefully you can see that. So sa, ta, na, ma. And Sa ta na goes down because we're heading towards death, and then ma is the rebirth. And the first two minutes, we're going to be doing this for 12 minutes. The first two minutes is chanted aloud, and it's waking consciousness. The second two minutes is a whisper. We're calling to the to the beloved, to the divine, to the teacher within, whatever you want to call that, that uh, infinite source. And then the center portion will be a silent. We're gonna keep the finger mantra going, sa, ta, na, ma, but it will be silent. And they'll be silent for two sessions. So we're gonna come from waking to whispering to silent, silent whispering to, to waking. So. Uh, it's, it's easier probably just to follow along. And this balances the hemispheres of the brain. There's research studies showing how this helps with memory and even memory loss. So let's just begin. Eyes are closed, focused on the third eye point. Sata nama. Sata nama, sata nama, sata nama, sata nama, sata nama, sata nama, sata nama. Sata Nama, 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 Sata N
sata nama 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 sa whisper And now silent.
whispering. Ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa. Nama Sata 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 Nama Inhale deeply. Exhale. Just taking a moment to be with your experience before we close. And rubbing the palms of the hands together, placing them at the heart center. Inhale deeply, exhale, and inhale to close. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you 
guide your way on, guide your way on, guide your way on, and inhale for a long satnam. Saha. Thank you. I'm going to stop the recording. Okay, I'm sorry, somebody couldn't hear me very well.